Although you are probably not aware of it, aqueous interfaces, which means interfaces between water and other materials, are ubiquitous in your daily life. They are contained in all biological matter, as well as in many products which you frequently use. Let us look at some examples. Metals in contact with water will rust, except if they are covered with a thin film protecting them against corrosion. Improving the performance and the environmental sustainability of anti-corrosion coatings is a big challenge in the automotive industry. Many food formulations, like pudding or ice cream, are basically emulsions consisting of oil droplets dispersed in water. The long-term stability of these emulsions is mainly determined by the properties of the interface separating the two liquids. Interfaces between ice, water and air are important for the growth of ice crystals. However, sometimes their formation is undesirable in products and can be hurtful in nature. Very long chain-like molecules, known as polymers, and tiny little particles, called colloids, belong to a class of materials termed soft matter. Soft matter can drastically influence the properties of aqueous interfaces. An international group of young researchers has been investigating soft matter at aqueous interfaces within the research network SOMATI, which was co-funded by the European Commission. Soy Cristian Fernández Solís, soy de Paraguay, trabajo en el Instituto Max Planck en Düsseldorf. I work with biopolymers to be applied on reactive surfaces as a corrosion protection of metals. عسلامة نقدم لكم بروحي اسمي سمية بن جبر الله أنا تونسية نعمل في التيزم تاعي في باريس في الكوميسارية دي انرجي اتوميك و امام طان نخدم في سانك خطون سولي My project is about ion distribution at interfaces by X-ray standing wave techniques The aim of my project is to extract density profile of ions at interfaces Me llamo Antonio Giuliani Nací en Honduras y trabajo en el ISL Fourth en Creta, Grecia, estudiando the motion of colloids and polymers at the solid-liquid interface. Among other subjects, Summitai researchers are investigating the possibility of using biological materials as anti-corrosion coatings. After a metal sample is polished, it is covered with an aqueous solution containing a biopolymer. The final coating has to be water-resistant while in use, yet biodegradable after disposal. Therefore, the polymer has to be attached to the metal by specific binding sites. Whether these binding sites are present in the polymer must be checked before the solution is applied. For this purpose, an instrument is used, which can determine the chemical composition of a liquid by measuring its transparency to light. After the solution is deposited onto the metal surface, most of the water is spun off by fast rotation, leaving behind a thin homogeneous film which is investigated under a special microscope to study its mechanical properties and its anti-corrosion performance. Melana Nina Hatsisvili, I'm a Missy Georgiani Missy Elnida. Κάνω το δεκτορικό μου στην Ολλανδία. During my PhD, I make food grade particles and study how they can stabilize emulsions. Hi, I'm Louis Keel. I'm British, but I work in Paris at ESPCI. And I'm an experimental physicist and I study novel foams and emulsions. So, specifically, I look at soap like bubbles made from small, squishy balls of polymer in water and I watch how their color changes as their thickness changes in time. Ciao, mi chiamo Giuseppe Soligno, vengo dall'Italia e sto facendo un PhD all'Università di Utrecht in Olanda. The topic of my PhD is the study of the self-assembly of colloidal particles at sorbet a fluid fluid interface through theoretical and numerical methods.
You have certainly seen this before. Often, food emulsions tend to separate into a liquid layer on top of a jelly-like remainder. Like in this lab experiment, the separation is the result of many oil droplets merging when they touch. Somatai researchers observe what is going on at the surface of the merging droplets under a high-resolution microscope, which allows them to see colloidal particles which are about a million times smaller than a table tennis ball. These tiny particles wriggle about randomly by so-called Brownian motion if they are suspended in water. However, they have a high tendency to absorb at the oil-water interfaces in an emulsion and form close-packed layers there. These layers can prevent the merging of the oil droplets, leading to a high stability of the emulsion. Theoretical calculations and computer simulations help in understanding under which circumstances the desired close pack layers form. Ciao, io sono Antonio Aloy, sono italiano e lavoro a Eindhoven, all'Università Tecnica nell'Istituto per Sistemi Molecolari Complessi. What we are doing here is working on antifreeze proteins uh, harvested from polar fishes uh, swimming in the Antarctica lakes and possible applications for these proteins uh, are cryosurgery, food industry and paint industry. Hey, 大家好, uh, Yi, my topic is to look at how the interface influences the motion of particles. I get a chance to use advanced light scattering technique and the chance to work with people from different cultures. My name is Victoria Blair. I'm originally from Northern Ireland, but I'm working at ETH University in Zurich. And the focus of my project is on developing a new low-cost coding method for technological applications such as optical components and for touchscreen devices. Below zero degrees centigrade, water solidifies. Therefore, life below this temperature requires an anti-freezing mechanism which nature has devised by evolution. Organisms living in the Arctic Sea are equipped with proteins which absorb onto the surface of very small ice crystals, inhibiting further growth. These anti-freezing proteins might be used to avoid the undesired formation of ice crystals in food formulations or during operations with modern cryosurgery techniques. Somatai researchers have developed new high-resolution microscopes to observe these proteins at work with the aim of disclosing the mechanism behind their anti-freezing effect. A highly advanced method to study proteins and other soft matter at aqueous interfaces is laser light scattering. With this, Somatai researchers measure the mobility of suspended particles very close to solid surfaces. This is an important property for all interface-related subjects with which soft matter is involved. With financial support from the European Commission, Somatai researchers from 13 European facilities have worked for four years on scientific questions concerning soft matter at aqueous interfaces. Don't expect their results to turn into products which you can buy in supermarkets next year. But maybe in the course of 10 years, their research might help to make your daily life more comfortable in ways you might not have expected. <laughs>